Hi, I'm Tessa Shea and welcome to my channel. Um, I am a relatively new channel, but today I'm going to be talking about Earwig and the Witch and why you should not watch it. Because it's awful. I love Studio Ghibli films. Trust me, I love them. They're so great. I have watched Nausicaa, Ponyo, I've watched Spirited Away, Kiki's Delivery Service. This is the first movie they come out with in 10 years. 10. And it is so bad. Studio Ghibli is known for their hand-drawn animations, their beautiful landscapes, and their intricate storylines. And I cannot say that we got any of that with Earwig and the Witch. There are plot holes. I mean, there's not even a plot, really. I don't know what the plot is because it really didn't make any sense. And it was just bad. It was bad, okay? There was so much repetition. Like, they said a lot of the same stuff over and over and over and over again. And it just didn't make sense. So, so the story starts off. This is a spoiler alert, by the way. So, if you actually want to watch this movie, or if you're just here so you know, you don't have to watch this movie because it is so bad. But, so spoiler alert, the movie starts out with this crazy redheaded witch on a motorcycle who's got a baby in her arms and running from some guy and somebody in a car or something. And she drops the baby off at an orphanage. It talks about shepherd's pie and how good it is. And she... So she drops the baby off and with a note saying that the baby's name is Earwig. First off, who names their baby Earwig? But apparently it was the name of her band. Because that's what you want to be named after. Anyways, fast forward, kid grows up and she's, she's rambunctious, I guess. She plays a lot of like pranks and stuff, but she's still kind of nice in a weird way. And she definitely does not want to be adopted. Definitely does not want to be adopted. But she does. She gets adopted by this blue-haired witch in this... I think he's part dragon? I don't know. They never explain what he is. So... Anywho. Fast forward. She gets adopted. And she was really only adopted so that she could be more help to the to the witch, so she could be a second pair of hands. And so she decides, well, if I have to do this, if I have to basically be your slave, can I at least learn magic? I think that's a fair compromise. And she says, oh yeah, sure, like she's actually gonna teach her, which of course she's not. So, little orphan earwig decides that she's gonna take matters into her own hand. And she decides that she's gonna learn how to do magic with the help of a cat. But like the whole, like the whole middle part, like was so unnecessary because it just, it was like the same stuff over and over. Like the witch was constantly threatening to give the girl worms and give the cat worms, give everybody worms. She wants to give everybody worms. And then the girl is always trying to escape or do magic in the middle of the night or play pranks on her. It was, that's 90% of the movie. There's like no story really until towards the end when the witch starts to finally start to like respect her in a weird way. And then once that happens, her mom knocks on the door and that's the end of the movie. Obviously they're keeping it open for a second one, but they, they probably didn't even need a second one. They could have gotten rid of half of the stuff in the middle and they would have been able to have us had one good movie. One good movie. I feel like if there's more to the story, then they should have put it in the first one. And also, Studio Ghibli is not known for their sequels. They're not. They're known for having these one movies, like one movie in each series, and they're super duper good. Why would you need a second one? If the one, if the first one's already good. 
but the first one was not. I mean, that's a silly thing to say because there's a lot of movies that have sequels because they need them. But I don't know. Moral of the story. I do not recommend watching this movie. I watched it so you don't have to. If you have watched this movie, please comment down below and tell me what you thought about it. If you were just as disappointed as I am or if you think that I'm just crazy and you thought it was the most amazing movie ever. I mean, we all got differing opinions. This is just mine. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching my channel today and like, subscribe, and I hope you guys come back next week. Doodles!